I'm Jeff Philbin and this is Dinner Diaz and today's show is hotter than a bat out of hell. We're bringing you paradise by the kitchen light and if you guess what we're making then you took the words right out of my mouth. It's meatloaf. Get ready to rock this recipe. Joining me to make her meatloaf masterpiece is Maria Rumlin. She's the M and the R of m &R Cafe Southern Cuisine in East Tampa. Maria, are you a fan of the music or Mr. Loaf? Or maybe even just the meal he invented? The meal he invented. I do too. It's one of my favorites of all time. So how do we start with your meatloaf? We start off by getting those good lean ground beef. You want to get about five pounds. We're doing as we do in our cafe. So we, you can take it Wait, down time too. Out. Five pounds? Five pounds. Five pounds. Now you can, you can divide it if you have a smaller head count. Okay, yeah. Of course, of course, yeah. And so how many would this feed then? This feeds, we get about 12 slices out of this. Perfect. I don't I, like it too thick, so about 12 slices. Is it perfect for it? Okay, very good. All so, right, so we've got that. What's the first few steps then? So we, got, we have our, our ground beef here, and then we're gonna add all our components over here. Mm -hmm. we have, you can start anywhere, you can start from However you choose. All right, I'm a, I'm, I wanna, I wanna be a part of this whole process with you today. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, please join okay, the fun. Okay, because meatloaf is exactly that. Yeah. It's joining the fun on this one here. It's a so. chance to get your hands dirty. Hey, exactly. <laughs> Who doesn't like getting hands dirty? Come on right. now. Right. All right, so what do I need to do then first? Just gonna, um, we can crack an egg or two. We can crack our three eggs. Okay. Kind of make a little fauna in there. Okay. And you crack the egg kind of cute, one hand. You know, it's, it's, a little bit of practice I've had. I, I, I know, I was going to say that. A little fun. Because it never works out for me. It's all in the, it's all in the fingertips for there. That's really what it is. Because I have the shell in there too. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that yeah, part. Right. <laughs> all right. What's next then? We're going to do the cheese. Okay. Now yep. what types of cheeses are going in here? This is like a pomegranate grated cheese. Okay. And this you is going to just go right over the eggs? Right inside, okay. yeah. You can, do, you can do your fresh uh, grade your own or you can just buy it grated in the bag. Okay. We're just looking for the flavor. Nice. in that cheese. Very good, and it also probably brings a nice little bit of saltiness behind it, it does, as well, so yes. get that little flavor. You wanna go all in? All in, why not? I love it already. <laughs> all right. Then we're gonna do our cornflakes. Cornflakes, now, now that's a unique ingredient here, cornflakes. Walk me through a little bit of the reason behind the cornflakes. Cornflakes is very old school. It's kind of, it's a great binder. Okay. A binder is a great way to keep that meatloaf together, and it also provides some tenderness in that meat. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. all right. What's next then? As we can do our breadcrumbs. Okay. And how much are we going in here? Oh. We're going the whole. whole I like, little I like bit to get the little Parmesan grated ones because it gets you a little flavor in there too. Okay. It's not. You can do a basic. A little, a little like sneak yeah. of some extra flavor, yeah. a little shortcut, but it yeah. works. Then we're gonna add in our uh, M and R Catering Cafe. Um, we have our own spices. Ooh, so this is like the pr proprietary blend here. This yes. is the secret blend. It's a beef this is, this is what's going to separate the best. And you can only get it with best. us. Only with yeah. you guys, so okay. You, I advise, if you're going to try to make this meatloaf, you have to go to our website to order this beef seasoning. It's that, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 hey, I'm going to save a little bit on the side for me. Yeah. I'm <laughs> going to just take this, I'm going to put it over here. Yes. No one needs to know. No. Okay, Phil. We won't tell anybody, okay? Thank you. And no one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but least, we have some, you can saute your veggies if you want to, mm -hmm. but they're gonna cook anyways inside the meatloaf. Okay. Uh, just some tricolor peppers and some diced onions. Okay. Mm -mm. And that's really all you need for all your components of your meatloaf. And the good thing about this, it can be vegan. You can do turkey. And the vegan, the only thing you can do is you gotta change your eggs to a vegan egg. Okay. A vegan parm, which they have a great selection in stores. Okay. And you do the, um, the, the vegan meat, um, the meat, what is it called? Um, They've got the Beyond Meat now. Beyond They've meat, got so yes. many different yes. new alternatives yes. out there with meats, and we've had some great chefs that have come on to talk of, you know, sometimes about the alternative, but sometimes yeah. I want the flavor exactly. of beef, and I want, I do want this sometimes, so. Yes. All right. It's a great option. So now we're just gonna mix. Now we're just gonna mix, all right. Do you want to try and take it out the bowl to mix it? I, I might have to, I mean, like, this is jam-packed with so much, I don't yeah. even know how I'm gonna even get my fingers around this, so, I mean. We can kind of mix it up some and then put it on the board. We can, Okay, yeah. so we're okay with doing that part. Yes. All right. All right. Let's, I'm gonna take like a little bit of it out because I, I want some of it to, to actually work here with me. Right, you can kind of mix as you go. Yeah, 
eh, you know, we'll do it in stages. For Maria's marvelous meatloaf recipe, head over to our website, dinnerdias.com, which is full of ideas for dinner. We've even got a recipe for a vegan meatloaf from Anissa Mahija. She was the owner, or she is the owner, excuse me, of Nana's Restaurant and Juice Bar in Ebor. Just scan the QR code to get right there. Is this where you need it to be mixed. You think I've done a good job mixing it? Cause you can just take it, let's take it all out the bowl. Oh, we're going all out now. All we're, out we're, we're going. Yeah. See, now I, see, exactly. Now, I guess it wasn't, I, I guess it wasn't acceptable. No. <laughs> so. Cause you want to get, it's okay to, you want to get all of it in there. It's preferred to have you like a big mixing bowl. Uh, you, uh, you can just take your size, your quantity and take it down So. Okay. See, this is how it's done. Yeah. This is this is the expert way of doing it and only doing it the right way. Right way. way. Okay. So we kind of got it all mixed in there. You're gonna have some pieces of that fall out, but that's okay. All right. Yeah. So then we're gonna start now trying to form it. So let's get it formed. If you want it wider, if you want it longer, narrow, it's based on how you want it. If you want a basketball, we can make a, like this looks like literally, it's like a basketball right yes. now on this side. It's like, I'm on to just like slam dunk it right now. So this water is a good method to smooth it out. Really? So yes. walk us through for why the water is for there to smooth it out for you. Because it helps you smooth the texture of the meat. See how you can get more of a even blend of the meat. Okay. So it's smoothing out that surface for you. And once it goes into the oven, it's just going to be able to evaporate and cook out anyways. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's really yeah. just for you to be able to have that ability to That's just it. make it more malleable. That's is what it. you're saying? Okay. You're just using it just for the texture on top to give you more of a smooth surface. Mm -hmm. Then you just kind of go like that. Okay. Just like a little baby. It is. It, uh, it, I'm not going to lie. I felt it, okay? It's like the weight of a baby yeah, right now. Yeah, so you kind of make sure you got it. It's a meatloaf yeah. baby. It's a healthy baby. It's the baby that we all yeah. want right now because I really just want to go straight into, like, you know. You, gotta, you pick your baby up. All right, I got to pick my baby up. Yes. Okay. And put her in her bed right here. All right, so we're going right <laughs> into the... Hello, baby. It's good yes. To <laughs> I just feel like I want to rock the baby here. All right. Yes. All right. We're going straight into our pan here. I'm gonna, uh, you know, you took all that time to smooth everything. I want to okay, make you sure. Can, you can redo I, it. I respect the smoothness yeah. of it. You know, like this, and you have some beef broth. We're gonna take some. Oh, we have our, our garlic cloves. So I took about four garlic cloves, and what we do is we just kind of push them in on top like this. Whoa there. Because you, you can't go wrong with garlic. You can't. So you're just going little, little pockets worth yeah, little of, pockets. Uh, of just kind of find that surprise here. Yep, find the surprise. I'm going to cook in there really good. Smooth it back out. So then we kind of Little flavor it. nuggets right there. Yeah. Probably. All right, very we put, cool. We get our beef broth. Okay. We just kind of pour over that. And we pour over it. Okay, over so it's, it. it's going to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And how much am I looking for? I mean, you tell me when I need to stop, because I'm going to just kind of keep going. I typically use the entire carton. Whoa, but my okay. container is, my my plate here is kind of, is normally a little bigger than that, so. Yeah. But if you get something a little bigger, it, again, it's five pounds, so. Yeah. You can narrow it, you can cut okay. it in half. Okay. You only use half of that container. Okay. But if not, I use this, because what happens is it evaporates anyway as it cooks. Okay. And it's a great base for the gravy. Okay. All right. So then, should I go a little bit more? Or, I mean, in your pan, so you go halfway up? Do you go? I do it normally. It's, it's in a pan a little bigger, but it never covers the complete meatloaf. Okay. So you can do a little more. A little bit more then. Okay. And that's it. We can we'll cover it, and uh, we'll foil it, throw, put some foil on top. Okay. We'll cook it at three. I do it like three eighty-five, and we're gonna cook it for two hours. Okay. But we're gonna cook it an hour and a half covered. Hour and a half covered. Cover, because if you put it in there for two hours, it's going to get completely hard and, and dark on top. So letting it cook from the inside out. Then the last 30 minutes, we'll uncover it. Okay. So it gets that golden brown on top. I love ready it. Ready to rock and roll. All right. Well, Maria, I'm glad our meatloaf is going to go into the oven because I couldn't eat it raw. In fact, I would do anything <laughs> for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd? All right. We're going to take a quick break, and while I get new writers, and when we come back, <laughs> it's tater time ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to the show with ideas for dinner that you can make, or as we call them, dinner dias. Joining me today is Maria Rumlin. She is from M&R Cafe Southern Cuisine. She's sharing 
her recipe for a mouth-watering meatloaf, which we put together before the break. We garnished it with garlic and bathed it in a beef broth before it went into the oven, which means now we're talking taters. Yes, taters. Okay. So are you gonna do the premature mashing today? Well, uh, I, hey, if I gotta be put to work, you know, let's yes, do this let's then. Put just right. to work. All right, so what do we gotta do? We're gonna have some red, baby red potatoes already pre boiled Okay. We, we season our water slightly. Okay. With some fresh garlic, whole garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic in there. Now, what is the reason behind that for you? Like, what do you find is different from just having, you know, just regular water or salted water, but putting garlic and even more of a seasoning behind it? Because M&R also has a line that says, we are where the flavor resides. So, and that being said, the mash must have flavor. The mash yeah, must, have, must have, have flavor. So you get that started in the beginning, so in the end, it's not much to do. They've already pre seasoned themselves. All right, all right. Yeah. So, starting with just the mashing first? Yes. Okay. You can mash in the pot, you can mash in the bowl, however you like it. Okay. Just mash. This is, this is the moment of the day where it's just like, let out some of the aggression yes. that you might have had. And now, I've noticed you keep the skin on. I do, I love the skin on. I do too. It's pretty too. Yeah. So we're gonna add in a little bit of uh, heavy cream while you're doing it to give you a little okay. more. Make it a little more easier for you to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was I struggling or something? No, I just thought, to me, it makes it better for me. It's easier. <laughs> I figure why work harder, you can work smarter. Yeah. So Smoke it also has some grated palm cheese. We got to add in that. Okay. And you can never have too much cheese. No, you yeah. really can't. And we're thinking about should we do, then we don't have a lot of potatoes in there, we're gonna do like half a stick of butter. Okay. So we kind of dice them up in pieces. We're gonna throw them in there. And I still want to add a little more garlic. This is just some minced garlic, just for the flavor. Okay. And that's really all you need, just okay. mash it to your desire, your texture. We'll do a little bit of salt seasoning in there. Nice. Salt, pepper, garlic. And again, you want to season it to your liking. I may like a little more seasoning, you may not. So you want to season the taste. Okay. Now this go is going to go with our meatloaf. Yes. And at the restaurant, this is one of the staples. Meatloaf is definitely one of the staples. Oh yeah. Is it? Okay. People love our meatloaf. It's like one of the things that we sell out. We sell out our meatloaf every day. What are some other dishes that are happening over at the restaurant? Oh, we do anything from a smother sear oxtail to our seven macaroni and cheese. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. say that one more time. Seven cheese. Okay, come on. So we've got layer upon layer upon layer yes. of mac and cheese. cheese. This is from your Instagram. Yes, as you can see, it's cheesing. The, che the macaroni and cheese is definitely cheesing. It's cheesing. Cheese. And you want it creamy. I love And you it. want to make sure that the noodles are cooked to perfection. We have here. What do we so got here? Oh, that's one of our favorites, our turkey wings. Everybody loves turkey wings. What I, what we call them? Goddamn candy yams. You gotta get the yams. You gotta get the yams. Yeah, and the oxtails are to die for. And again, we use our in-house beef seasoning on those oxtails. So if you don't got the seasoning, you won't have the same flavor we have at M&R. I love it. For yes. Maria's meatloaf recipe and her tips for the top taters, head on over to our website, dinnerdias.com, where you can download and print everything you need to make this for your dinner tonight. Just get the phone out. Scan the QR code ahead right there. Um, you know, do these potatoes look good? It looks perfect. You did a great job, Joe. I, I'm trying, you know? I taught you well. I ta yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what? I gotta go for one little bite yes. here because like, you know. Potatoes are good. Absolutely fantastic. Imagine now, that gravy on there. I can't wait because we got the gravy over here. Good for me to go get the meatloaf? Yes, let's get it out. All right, let's go ahead and get this meatloaf get, out of the oven. Let's get the baby out, out of her bed. Oh, my baby. <laughs> look at the baby. What should we name her? Um, I don't know, Proud Papa? How about that for me? <laughs> I mean, look at this. This looks absolutely beautiful. Yes. A beautiful crust. Yes. Now, we're two hours in our oven. Oh, my gosh. You about an hour that. and a half covered and about 30 minutes un uncovered to get this beautiful glazed look on the outside. But it's not ready. No. What's next, then? Next, we're going to slice her up. Okay. I normally let her sit for about 20 minutes. Give okay. or take. I'm one of those things, y'all. All right. We're gonna slice her up, and then we're gonna add the gravy on her and put her back in the oven for about 20 or 30 more okay, minutes. Okay, so this is getting like twice baked then, yes. in a way. Yes, because you want the gravy to kind of like seep into the meat. So you want to have that gravy, give it some time to sit and settle. And it makes a difference. And see how easy it is for you to cut her up? Oh. And like I stated before, you can cut the loaf as thick or thin as you desire. Okay. I don't like mine's really thick, but. 
Yeah, you gotta have it's gotta have a balance. Yeah. It's too much, and it's like you know, then you're really like getting like a fork and knife yeah. versus like you know, a good bite. A, you good know, bite of meat. It's gonna have that flavor, but you know that you're not going too much Correct. with everything. Yeah. Just slice her up, and I kind of once I get a slice, I kind of like separate it a little bit, and then we're gonna um, add the gravy. Like here, I want to try to like okay. when I put the gravy in, I want to put it in between. So you want to get that little pocket right yeah. there, all right? Because we got the chef Jeff Cam here. You I want to see that gravy go right into you that bad put boy it in here. Between. Look at that. Because then we're gonna add a little bit more broth in there too. Oh. So like in between, then we're gonna take it and layer it on top too. Now. I think this is awesome because I absolutely love the flavor and you at home are gonna love all of these flavors with this gravy because we're gonna have some bonus Instagram footage for y'all. If you're not following us on Instagram right now, here's your chance to do it at Dinner Diaz because we're gonna be making this gravy together with y'all and now you're gonna have all the secrets yes. of how See. to make this just jam packed with all this flavor. While we finish up putting a little bit more of this gravy on here, we're gonna take a quick little break because our meatloaf is gonna go back into the oven. Yes. The taters are done, but we still have to do a side of broccolini. But hey, two out of three ain't bad. That was another meatloaf dad joke, Maria. Um, <laughs> more of that, but mainly more delicious food still ahead when we come back on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Today we're making a magnificent meatloaf with Maria Rumlin from MR Cafe Southern Cuisine. Before the break, we, or actually I, yes. kind of mashed our mashed potatoes. Well, Maria, you just watched. You, I, you I instructed just, and taught. I just instructed him. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Now we have time for a quick side of broccolini, which if you've never cooked with it before, you call yours sexy broccoli? Sexy broccoli. Okay, I can see why. why. Isn't she sexy? Look at her. She has long stem legs. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, she does. And we will call this her red bottoms. <laughs> the red bottoms. Yeah. Which okay. is some, some um, sweet tomatoes. Gonna, so what yeah. else did we start off with in our pan? We did a little wine sauce with some Chardonnay, some um, fresh garlic, some tricolored peppers, onions and just some little seeds that you can find on the website. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Maria's Restaurant is part of Tampa Black Restaurant Week, which celebrates local black-owned restaurants and food businesses, and also gives grants through the non-for-profit non Feed the Soul Foundation. And Maria is just one of three local restaurants to receive a $10,000 grant to help it grow. Yes. What does that mean for you in the business? A lot, because yeah, the money is great, but the knowledge is even better because they give you a $10,000 grant, but they give you like a three month course of classes where we get in every Monday morning, all the recipients throughout the different states and we do marketing. We do um, um, from, from down to looking at your books, to accounting, to pricing, to um, um, social media, anything down to your, what, what are you serving, your menus, like they take you through like a session of culinary school. I absolutely love that. Yes. It's absolutely incredible. And to find out more about, about Black Restaurant Week and the local businesses involved, as well as the charity foundation that is supporting that grant there, there's a link at our website, dinnerdiaz.com, along with the recipes for Maria's meals she's making today. Just scan the QR code. It's going to take you right there. Yes. Now, we let this sit for a little bit? We can. You gotta, you gotta want to toast the tomatoes a little bit. All right, so we're gonna toast yes. the tomatoes because when we come back, time to taste test our meatloaf. Hopefully it's yes. delicious, but Maria, I'm gonna say it anyways because I'd lie for you, and that's the truth. And that's my last meatloaf joke. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think it is, you guys. It's not. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll see you back. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Ideas for dinner from great chefs. And today we've been cooking with Maria Rumlin from MR Cafe Southern Cuisine. Her restaurant is part of Black Restaurant Week Tampa, which is happening right now. She's sharing a recipe right from her menu meatloaf, mash, and broccolini. Let's see if my cooking was up to your standard, my yes. friend. Time let's to see. dig right in. Let's see if Jeff did a good job today. Let's well, see. let's see. Let's see. 
It's because I learned from the best. Oh, that's good. Tons of flavor. Uh -huh. And the twice baking to bring it together. Yes. You know, a lot of people will put bacon, they'll put ketchup as a glaze, or they'll have a gravy to the side at the top. You twice uh -huh. baked it. Twice bake it, because you want that flavor to go all in that meat. Mm-hmm. But I pass the audition? I think you did. I passed the test? You might have a job at m and I'll take it. <laughs> because I had fun making these potatoes, too. Oh. The cheese brings it all together. It, 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 is the, it is the glue to it that just has so much fun. And you know what? My mama always told me that I need to eat my vegetables. Yes. So let's make sure that these are actually sexy enough for being broccoli. And they are. That wine brings a nice little it bit does. of flavor behind it, too. It does. Absolute blast to be having you here in the Dinner Deals Kitchen. I hope Fine that we can have you again. Thanks again to Maria Rumlin for more of her cooking. Visit her restaurant, MR Cafe Southern Cuisine in East Tampa, and find out more about Black Restaurant Week Tampa over at our website, along with Maria's recipes. That's at dinnerdias.com. Just scan the QR to go, car, excuse me, I'm still got some of the broccoli yeah. there. <laughs> the QR code to get right there. And while you're there, let us know if you make anything you've seen on the show. That's what Ethan did. He's in Seminole Heights and he made Chef Rosanna Rivera's paella. And he says it came out amazing. I've never even tried paella, let alone made it, but was surprised at how good it turned out. And I'm so happy that you had so much fun cooking a great dish. I'm Jeff Philbin. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more Dinner Diaz.